Greetings, consciousness. Welcome back. And so in this podcast, we are talking about priest and celibacy. Priest and celibacy. But before we do that, I wanted to take a, a moment to talk about the artwork that you're looking at, which was painted by Michelangelo or Michelangelo. Now, this painting was painted for the church, the earlier church. And it will be up on the ceiling. So you walk into this massive church or cathedral, shall we say. And up on the ceiling will be this painting. Many, many paintings. But this is one of them. And so as people walked into these temples, they'll look up and they'll see this amazing artwork. But Michelangelo was trying to explain something to people without actually using words. As they say, a picture speaks a thousand words. You look at something and you ponder on it and you try to understand it. Because here, what he was trying to tell them was, this is God reaching out to Adam, which is basically God reaching out to man. But then when you look at the image, it shows you that God is in the center of the brain, reaching out to man, which basically tells you that God can only be sought through mind. Through mind. And so the Egyptians, they said, the universe is mental. We cannot shout our way on the outside to the creator, but from within. Because everything happens from within. And all things are created by causality through thought first. You see. And so what the ancient Egyptians understood was through mind they can achieve anything. And obviously you know about the eye of Horus which is also a picture of the center of the brain where the third eye is. And so these ancient Egyptians understood after they have had their children they can perhaps go into the monastery to become holy men and through the practice of meditation they can reach the highest level of thought where divine inspiration comes from. And so what they realized was through abstinence from sex, man's divine power rose to the highest level when they ascended duality, when they ascended the tree of good and evil, by holding your attention in the middle of the forehead. Because wherever your attention goes, that's where your energy goes. And so, abstinence from this sexual orgasm, they realize man can tap into a very, very powerful energy or to the divine source. Because you have the conscious mind, which is the ego, most people call Satan, the subconscious which is a helper. And obviously you guys that love football, I don't. I don't know a thing about football. But at least I understand what a sub player is. Because a sub player is the one that sits on the bench. Watching until needed. Right? And so your subconscious mind is always waiting on the conscious mind. For when the conscious mind needs help. That's why it is called subconscious mind. That draws power from the conscious mind, super conscious mind, shall we say. 
because the super conscious mind is a, is a supreme mind. The mind that does not have duality, the mind of God. You see, because first you have the mind of God which created duality for experience purposes. And so you have the act of good and evil. But back to this topic. This sexual orgasm, when we enjoy it, we weaken ourselves because we draw atomic energy from the source to create another human being. And after you have enjoyed the orgasm, even the atheist, when he's enjoying the orgasm, screams, Oh my God, oh my God. Now the atheist knows there's a God. And he's all weak up in the knees. So they said, every tongue shall confess and every knee shall bow. This indeed is a supreme energy. And so most sports people, they are told, if you have a competition, do not have sex. Now we're not talking about sex being good or evil. You know, we, we are talking about higher knowledge here. You can enjoy all you like. I once knew a guy that said to me, you know, man, I can never spend a night without sleeping with a, you know, a woman. Or he had many women, you know, when we're young, most of us do. But I can never spend a night without having sex with a girl. I have to have a you know, different girl in my bed most nights. Guess where he is now? Now he is six feet under. Another one buys the dust. And so where man's power is, is really celibacy. And so the ancient priests, they knew if they abstained from the orgasm, they attained a certain level of consciousness where they got divine inspiration from the self through meditation. Of course, we have degenerated to a level where, you know, the orgasm is really enjoyed every second of the day. And so we get weaker and weaker by the day. Four rounds, seven rounds for some, you know, because they got this iPhone for this girl. So they decided, you know what, I'm going to get my money back through sex. I'm going to go all night. Brother, you're just killing yourself. That's all you're doing. You see. And so this divine inspiration, which caused this guy to paint this painting, it is all about teaching man about how to attain the highest level of consciousness. And so the Egyptians, as I said, you will have your family first. And then if you wanted to become a holy man, you go into the monastery and they shave their hair off. That's why normally you see the Egyptians in movies with no hair. And that's what you see in the Tibetan uh, monks today, the monks. They have no hair. They shave all their hair and they serve as holy men, meditating, abstaining from sex. Obviously, I am not a holy man. Perhaps you are. But this is the highest level that man can reach when you become a holy man. Wholesomeness. Where you only serve the supreme. You become the self. So, though you are in the body or in the world, you are not of the world. You become a divine inspiration for many. By drawing divine inspiration from the self. You see, that's the whole purpose of meditation. You don't have to be a holy man to meditate. Because if you think about it, if you own a car, it doesn't matter if it's a Bentley or a Ferrari. These things are all built by human beings. 
like Nikola, Nikola Tesla and all these type of people. They meditated. These are people that use their mind from the highest level. You see? But all these cars at some point need to go in for service. You cannot keep driving them forever and ever. And so since we use our minds every day, our problems and whatnot, man becomes stressed out. So if you do not sit in meditation, where you stop thinking, you can drive yourself insane. And this is why this world is going down and under. Because too many people are depressed. Through the ego, which we call Satan. Because everything that comes from God, we say is good. And everything that comes from the, the ego or Satan, we say is bad. Because God is love. The supreme mind is all love. Every ill thing that happens in this world comes from the ego mind. Somebody created a wrong thought and ricocheted into something evil in the world. There is no Satan as a being killing people. If someone kills your child on the road because that person was probably on your mobile phone, drunk or wasn't paying attention. You see. And so God can only be sought through mind, which is what this picture is showing you. The creator is within. Your soul is God in the flesh. But when we start worshipping material things, God becomes a devil. He for completely forgets himself. And assume the role of an ego man. Can even write a book about how to become an atheist. And create a huge number of people as his followers. And this is God too. When God completely forgets himself, he becomes an atheist. But every now and again, as I said, through the sexual act, through the orgasm, he himself will remind himself, Oh my God, oh my God. Because everything God created, they said, was good in Genesis. God said everything he had made was good. It is everything man does that is evil. In God, Tawuti said, there is no evil. That is the supreme mind, the first mind, not the second mind that caused duality. The first mind is pure. You see? And so with this said, I hope the next time you see this image on this podcast, you will understand. It is only through mind, through within, we can find our highest self not on the outside. It doesn't matter how many times you get baptized, you'll probably go home and still watch a porn movie. So, there's nothing wrong with these things. In the realm of duality, all things are possible. What I'm saying is, all these external rituals are completely useless. Everything must be internalized through mind. You see. So I'm going to leave this podcast. Do take care of yourselves. And the next time with me, we're going to have some lunch. We're going to have some drinks and have a chat. Peace.